Hey guys, Xshine here, and today's going to be a video about the Mining and Smithing 110 launching today update this week in RuneScape. I will say, I'm honestly making this blind, but I kind of want to see Sanctum changes, just with group mode, you know, a little something to make it better, you know, aka better drop rates or something. If they did the 80% HP, you know what, it's not what I would have done, but maybe it'll be fine, who knows, so let's check this out. We already kind of read this, guys. Yep. So they already said, they already posted this. They're, they're saying go read it. And here's the patch notes, guys. So light and light and recover rocks at the core mining site at the Cardian Desert are now sandy brown rather than dark gray. Um, okay. Corrected a minor inconsistency in Bane and Elder Ruin pickaxe penetration. Um, was this a current issue? I guess so. I guess, okay. So Elder Rune actually got nerfed a little bit, which is very interesting. And Bane got nerfed a little bit. So we got nerfed. Corrected our minor inconsistency in Bane. Again, guys, we only nerf skillers. We will only nerf skillers. There's so many inconsistencies in combat. Where is that? Corrected a minor inconsistency in Bane in Elder Rune, Runeite mining rock hardness. So new hardness. Okay, so you know it actually wasn't a nerf, guys. It was actually a neutral change. Uh, what else? We'll say why the ore cannot be deposited into an ore box. Primal stone spirits now have been added to the following drop tables. Uh, Triskelion treasures Raksha replace Karambola. Raksha no longer drops Karambola seeds. Razor had it added to the loot table. Re Solak replaced Bainite Stone Spirit. So he still drops Light Animica. So that's pretty interesting, actually. So you might actually see Bainite go, go up because of this, which is kind of funny. Although maybe not, though. Just because, you know, it's a lower tier ore. Same thing with Metamorphic Geodes. Uh, replaced Anima Crystal. Uh, wow. So you, you can't get um, the Gobble Dungeon 2 rep anymore from the Geodes anymore. I don't mind that. I think it's very weird how the Geodes are so good for certain things. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I think our Dungeon 2 rep is so easy, honestly, with like the Trolley Merchant. Right? I don't think that's not a big deal. If anything, that's a good thing, honestly. Because this is a waste of a... Adamant Crystal, once you have max rep, is absolutely worthless. Karapik had it added to the loot table. Jerzag and, and Yakamuro no longer drop U-Logs. It has been replaced. U-Logs have been replaced with Primal Stone Spirit. So that's pretty, that's a big change too. Edamu's replaced Fire Talisman. So I'm not sure how many things source Fire Talisman. So that's pretty big. Calgrim Demons replaced Tiny Spiky Rune Salvage. So again, uh, I'm not sure if that actually reduces GP in coming to the game because this ore will equal GP. Maybe it does XP though. It depends. Secrets and Soul Gators added to loot table. Dev note: Primal Stone Spirits have been added to the above tables with the intention of keeping them somewhat steady in supply compared to other Stone Spirits. For this reason, you may see them drop in lower quantities at a lower frequency at lower frequencies than you expect. As as this is a new update, prices will adjust accordingly over time. We have not intended this as a buff or nerf to any particular loot table, and we'll keep an eye on data and feedback as time patches. Yeah, so the reason stone spirits are so worthless is because too many bosses drop them and too many quantities. If bosses dropped them and it was in lower quantities, they would actually be worth a lot more. But like, so let's say let's say every boss dropped four times less stone spirits, or even five times less. Like Nexus have dropped like twenty. Let's just say Dex drops twenty, she only dropped four. It would actually probably be, for the four stone spirits would probably be, probably be worth more than the 20. And the reason for that is just because there's an oversupply of stone spirits. I can't tell you how many people have like a million plus of each stone spirit anticipating some kind of change. I think at this point, it's, it's, it's kind of like whatever, like let it be just because like, I don't, I personally don't like it when, when an update is so poorly handled to the point where, oh, let's. Let's, let's uh, you know, make it more profitable. Like, it, it's slightly, like, Stone Spirits might slightly go up now just because, uh, like, for instance, uh, Solak replaced Bay Knight Stone Spirits. Maybe it'll go up. Who knows? 
But again, very little. So, yeah, I think they should have done something faster before, but yeah, they didn't. But oh well. Smithing. Uh, the Smithing interface now has X make X quantity slider. So that's great. Yep, without reopening. The, I like how they clarified without reopening the interface because it was possible. I was creating stacks in the smelting and smithing interfaces now su suffix their stack size to the project item name. Oh, so I'll say like elder play body, like EP. I don't know. Fix a live ma make X bug. Fix a live. Make X bug word ingredients from multiple sources for recycling their item icons, even if the recipe multi had an override object. Recycling for that. Oh, some weird visual bug. The metal bank interface viewable from your bank or ore box now has a scroll bar to accommodate additional core ores. Armor spikes. All variants of armor spikes are now tradable with a grand exchange buy limit of 10,000, which is plenty. Armor spikes will require the smithing level to create them in order to be used. Okay. The smithing requirement for abyssal armor spikes has been corrected from 1 to 99. The proc it was 1 because you they weren't tradable, so someone was lazy. The proc chance of abyssal armor spikes secondary effect has increased from 25% to 100%. The buy limit of abyssal flesh on the grand exchange has been increased from 500 to 5,000. Abyssal flesh is so cheap because no one melees and everyone AFKs abyssal piece. Um... So I'm guessing you can make primal abyssal armor spikes, all right? I, th I believe so. So I think the primal spikes will benefit from this. That's pretty crazy. The family cre uh, crest quest is no longer required to store silver and gold in the ore box in Melbanks. The quest still unlocks the smelting along. During Defender of Varrock, you cannot interact with a sacred forge to use Blurite ore on it and to start the cutscene. The sacred forge. I don't think a sacred forge is, brother. Graphical chem dozzle has been graphically updated. Made some slight adjustments to the start of the Sacred Forge cutscene to accommodate. What is this? The I I think of Sacred Forge. I just think of the archaeology place where Bandos was. Added a world map link to the entrance and exit of Cambot Dozzle. Resource dungeons now have an exit a animation to match their animation. Okay. Also, is it just like yeah, so it's just a dungeon and teleport animation. Seagulls at Damonheim no longer sound like crows. Core. Combat fix the issue where switching between <laughs> different essence of finality abilities cause both effect special effects to trigger. Uh, I wonder who I wonder if this was being abused. Like again, bro, it's kinda crazy how many things happen with the essence of finality. What the hell? I, I actually really wonder how many people are abusing this. Fix an issue that resulted in the soul far special attack not being reset if the special procs alongside greater change. Was that a bug? Because. So. I've tested this. And I've greater chained at the dummies. And used soul far special. It would only reset. If the main target was hit with and it procced on the main target. If it procced, if I got the reset on the other targets, it wouldn't reset. So I actually wonder, does this mean the Soulfire far special can reset now off greater chain? So you greater chain like with chroming four, if it resets off one, which is extremely likely, like I, I, like what the boss too is resets off a little stalagmite ice thing. Will reset. I, again, it, it, it might not. That might not be the change. The change might just mean in some circumstances it wouldn't reset even if the main target got hit. I'm not sure. It. I don't know. Um. I also. I. I, don't, I haven't done too much uh, thinking with it because when I go into um the mine on boss three at the sanctum, I would you know corruption blast then greater chain and then like combust and i don't don't think i ever noticed it reset off hit it, like it, if it hit the other target multiple times and, and like procced i don't know uh it looks like they didn't actually do anything by the way guys um <laughs> so let's look this doesn't really matter 
Hiding invention cogs no longer won't no longer unsheathes weapons from when equipping new armor. That's good. That's annoying. Fix an opacity issue with the time clone version of the carry pet. My arms herb patch will now correctly tell you which seed is planted when inspected. A scroll life will not work with this patch. Fix an issue where augmented necromancy lanterns would look rigid in combat. I think they finally fixed this after a whole year. I think this issue is instead of holding the lantern down, it would be like this. I think that I at least I think that's what that means, right? You're like this, like the lantern's just like face forward. It took them a whole year to fix that bug. That's crazy. Fixed an issue where augmented items couldn't appear sheathed with cogs turned off. That's good. And wow, I that's really it, guys. That's actually crazy. That's actually what is this, guys? O online hater. <laughs> I can't believe they have not fixed things, you guys. This is bad. I am sorry. Like, I don't even think it's a hard change. Like. The fact they haven't done the Sanctum change yet to make group mode better, guys, it tells me they're going to do some big BS. Where they're going to do some overly convoluted change that pisses everyone off. But, because I, f I honestly just feel like all they have to do is either one, buff the drop rate per player, or two, whatchamacallit, nerf the HP, but you know, to 80% per each player. But I really like the 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 drop rate increase because, okay, everyone always says, oh, duo is fine because they, they usually go with someone who's, you know, uh, equally skilled. Or the thing that also might make duo good is it depends. They probably are both necromancers, but I will say, in my experience, my duos are a lot better than my four man simply because I'm a major, right? I And mage does insane damage. However... I have a necromancer with me. That necromancer is buffing me because of the vengeful ghost, giving me ten percent more damage up to five hundred fifty plus damage, right? And that buffs my damage quite a bit because of all the hit spots I do. And so that's uh, making the kill time very similar to, to you know my solos, or at least in theory it should, as long as you know the boss tree goes well. And when you get more people, you know you're not benefiting from the vengeful ghost, and then you get more people who probably aren't spamming skeleton and all they do is spam death skulls and then after that just basic 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 like the, the, again the, the biggest thing with necromancy is literally just commanding your skeleton and weaving in your tier 95 special with autos with using soul sap uh touch of death auto soul sap like things like that right people think like just because you can't use bloat as four necromancers isn't the reason the kills take as long it is not okay so yeah i think it's kind of dire that I, I cannot believe there's not a sanctum change, guys. It's been, what, three weeks at this point? Like, how long has it been? It, it, it's been at least two, right? It, it's pretty bad. So, I guess that's it. I mean, I, get, I guess I'm going to go on Twitch and uh, do the the mining update. I'm not sure if I'll make a video about it. Maybe I'll test out Melee. Who knows, guys, if I even feel like it. It's just kind of like a bummer, because... It just annoys me, like, even teaching people, it sucks because it's not rewarding. And that's why people don't do uh, group content. Yeah, 92% of, of, of Sanctum runs have been done in solo, guys, so that's pretty bad. Bye!